Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys products that I have hit pan on. This is kind of a different video because I don't usually do videos like this. The reason why I'm doing this is because I honestly like when I hit pan on things. Like It just makes me really feel like I've got my money out of my products because I do have quite a bit of makeup. So I'm going to be showing you the products that I've hit pan on. I don't do project pan and I haven't been like focusing on just hitting pan on these things, but it's just obviously I guess products that I really like. Also some products you can't hit pan on like for example like a mascara. So it's pretty much me using it up. Yeah, I think that's really all I have to say. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I've used up is the e.l.f. like lash and brow gel. I've used up the eyebrow side and I'm now working on the eyelash side, but this honestly is pretty easy to use up. Like there's not that much product in it, but I do like it. I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it, but it's pretty good. The second thing that is also an eyebrow gel is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. If you guys have been subscribed to me or follow my Instagram, you guys know that I like this and I actually broke it so like it literally doesn't screw on anymore and you may see a little bit of product in there still but it doesn't come on the brush so it's done and I will see myself repurchasing this because I did really like it and then I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I am in medium brown I haven't fully used it up but I have used up most of it um, and yes, I can see myself repurchasing this, maybe a different shade because this one's a little bit dark for me. Um, the reason why I w did specifically want to mention it in this video is because it's going to be on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And so instead of it being $21, it'll be $10.50. So I'm going to get one during that time, probably. I also finally used up the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is pretty much my favorite mascara, but I don't know if it's focusing or not, but it's like all dried out, but I have definitely got my use out of it. This was my favorite mascara for a really, really long time. I'm now really liking the e.l.f. volumizing mascara, but yes, I can definitely see myself repurchasing this because it definitely makes it look like you are wearing false eyelashes, which is really cool. So yeah okay now here's the products that i've actually hit pan on so the first thing is the rimmel stay matte powder um as you can tell i've gotten a lot of use out of this i haven't used it in a while but i've hit major pan on this i also have one that i haven't hit pan on yet and it's in translucent but this one's in silky beige but i won't repurchase it for a while because i've definitely been going more towards loose powders a lot so i haven't used a pressed powder in a while but i decided to mention it because I've hit pan on it. So yeah. Another thing that I've hit pan on is the powder in the Wet n Wild contouring palette thing. It's a pretty good powder. It kind of like bunches up in areas, but it's not too bad. And as far as the bronzer goes, I haven't made much of a dent in it. I don't know if you can see it, but I won't be using it all up for a while. So I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but it is pretty good. This next thing, I'm really proud of myself for hitting pan on, and that is surprisingly a glow kit. So I have the Aurora Glow Kit and the Sun Dipped. I'm not even close to hitting pan on the Aurora, but the Sun Dipped. I've hit pan on the shade Summer, which is the lightest shade in the palette. It is super good for my skin. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like the perfect shade for my skin. Like It's like a yellowy, champagne-y, goldish color. I've definitely hit pan on it. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, and... It still has a lot of product left so and then this shade um, I'm gonna use in the summer and then these two shades are really good for eyeshadow so yeah I love this palette so much and I would recommend it to anyone I've also hit pan in the NYX ultimate brights palette so I've hit pan on this pink shade it's not that I use it that much it's kind of that I was just like playing around with this palette and then oddly hit pan on it I don't really know this is the probably the most like powdery shade in the palette um, so that's probably why I hit pan on it sooner, but all the other shades are pressed more kind of firmly, if that makes sense. So the other ones, I'm not even close to hitting pan on, but somehow I hit pan on this pink shade. And also the next two things and the last two things are eyeshadow palettes, which I'm super happy about. And the second to last thing is the Jaclyn the Hill palette. And if you guys follow my Instagram or have been a subscriber, you guys know. I love this palette, especially the shade that I have hit pan on. It's the only shade I've hit pan on in this palette, but it's this shade, um, if you can even see it, let me, 
yeah okay so it's the third shade in the palette it's this one and I just recently hit pan on it but I use it with every single look I do with this palette and it is the perfect transition shade for me I love it very much hence why I hit pan on it but yeah I would highly recommend this palette super duper good and honestly this is one of the only palettes you will need maybe a colorful palette if you like doing colorful looks but this palette has just so many nice colors in it and I love it so much so yeah and then the very last thing also very proud of because I spent $42 on it and I'm really proud that I've you know got my money's worth it's the Modern Renaissance palette, and I've hit pan, surprisingly, on three shades in this palette. So, I've hit pan on Tempura, which is this shade. I've also hit pan on Primavera. It might be kind of hard to see because the gold kind of goes on top of it a little bit. And then also the one above Primavera, which is Vermeer, and it's like the prettiest highlight -y shade. But yeah, I've hit pan on it. It's also kind of hard to see just because... I don't really know but it's definitely there so yeah i'm really happy this one is kind of an easier palette to hit pan on just because the shades are more like powdery not pressed as finely but they're really really pigmented so it's not like you need that much anyways maybe the next shade that i'll hit pan on is probably cypress umber because there's a big dent in that one but other than that i'm not super close to hitting pan on any of the other shades but yeah really proud of this so yeah that's the end of this video this was a decently short video but I wanted to show you guys things that I hit pan on that I've hit pan on because all of these things I really like. The NYX Ultimate Brights, I mean, it's fine, but it, um, I'd recommend the Morphe 35B more. But other than that, I really like all the other products that I have shown you guys that I've hit pan on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'm super close to hitting 6K and I might have already hit 6K by this video. So if I did, thank you guys so much. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!